Hey, my good friends, Sam Haymart with Test Driven TV. This week, we are testing the fastest and most powerful Cadillac ever, the CT5V Blackwing. It's in the garage too, so we're gonna pop the hood, do a full underhood tour, talk about the engine, and I'm gonna give you the full lowdown on what makes this thing tick. The 2022 Cadillac CT5V Blackwing uses the most powerful version to date of the explosively powerful 6.2 liter LT4 supercharged V8. Available with both a 10-speed automatic and standard with a 6-speed manual, it pumps out 668 horsepower and 659 pound-feet of torque. According to Cadillac, the automatic can do 0 to 60 in 3.4 seconds, and the manual we have here can do it just slightly slower at 3.6 seconds. The quarter mile? 1130 at 129 miles an hour, and it can hit over 200 miles an hour on the open track. The engines are hand-built at GM's Bowling Green, Kentucky assembly plant and sports a design plate with the engine builder's name on top of the Eaton 1.7 liter four-lobe supercharger. Integrated into its housing is air-to-water intercooling. The supercharger itself is driven by a dedicated second sheave drive belt with its own crank pulley and idlers. The belt-driven engine accessories have their own separate belt. The aluminum block engine features Rotocast A356 T6 aluminum cylinder heads with lightweight titanium intake valves. They're hard to see, but the exhaust manifolds down below are also stainless steel. This LT4 features a wet sump oiling and vent system with external oil separator and drain back. Following the airflow, the intake charge comes into the large conventional air box from behind the grill and then into a large diameter intake tube. Passing by the mass airflow sensor and then through a large single throat throttle body, the intake flow is improved by 46% versus the old CTSV. Once the air makes its way through the supercharger and intercooler package, it makes its way into the combustion chambers, which feature direct fuel injection. The engine also features active fuel management and cylinder deactivation to make an attempt at saving fuel. Across the engine bay is a highly manicured aluminum strut tower braced with V logo across it. It features cast aluminum flanges at each end and steel cross bracing between the cast aluminum strut towers and the firewall. In spite of all the exotic hardware under the hood, service and maintenance in the engine bay is pretty traditional and straightforward. The coolant reservoir can be found at the passenger side firewall just behind the strut tower. The windshield washer fluid reservoir cap is just to the side of it. Brake fluid can be found at the driver side firewall, but underneath it is a modern electronically controlled motor booster system. This allows for different performance and fuel metrics based on driver selected drive modes. Checking the oil is done on the passenger side of the engine at the bright yellow dipstick and filling it can be done at the cap on the driver's side. Accessing the oil filter is done, like most cars, from down below. The 12 volt battery won't be found under the hood, instead located underneath a removable plastic cover in the trunk, but there is a jumping post at the driver's side of the engine bay ahead of the strut tower. Next to it you'll also find the fuse block, easily accessed with a fuse removal tool inside. Just below that is the engine control unit, also known as the computer. Stepping back and away, the engine compartment is well laid out and appealing to the eye for those who like showing it off. A cherry on top? The prominent V logo is printed on the sound pad underneath the hood. Man, this thing was an explosively powerful bonkers car to drive. I'm telling you. And you know what? I can tell you more because we have the test drive right there. Click right there to see the test drive on this car. And better yet, subscribe to our YouTube channel right there. Either way, stay tuned.